sickening story, but one the mother is now sharing because it will truly take a village now to raise those children. Good evening, everybody. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Ann Trujillo. Her four kids lived outside for months, taken by their own father and his friend as child brides. And tonight, a mother shares her pain with our Liz Gillardi as she works to heal her family at home in Colorado. It's terrifying for them. They ask me every single day if they're safe because they don't feel that they are. Cheated out of their childhood, held captive, left with lasting trauma. As a mother, Micah Colthorpe would do anything to take away her kids' pain. Everything reminds them of something bad. Her ex-husband, John Colthorpe, and his friend, Samuel Schaefer, allegedly kidnapped their four kids and Schaefer's kids in Utah. What they did, unthinkable. The men are accused of marrying each other's daughters, sexually abusing them, including Colthorpe's own four-year-old daughter under the guise of a polygamous cult. Hearing it out of my daughter's mouth, what they made her do, what they did to them was... <laughs> I feel very selfish for having it hurt me when I know it hurt her more. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't keep food down for days after she told me what was... What, what happened? The kids are in therapy and Micah can't leave their side. She filed for bankruptcy to pay mounting legal costs from divorcing her husband. She lost her job and was forced to live out of a van at one point. Now she's back in Colorado, living with family, trying to rebuild their lives. I just want to be able to give them more. Out of desperation, she started a crowdfunding page, hoping to help her children heal. They moved to Colorado with nothing, no clothes, toys, or beds. The therapist is recommending karate and swim lessons. Right now, it's out of the question. At the moment, that's just not affordable for us, and it's, it's a terrible thing as a mom to know what they've been through and not be able to give them everything that they need. As they focus on healing, the two men accused of these heinous crimes, kidnapping, sodomy of a child, and child bigamy, appeared in court. Her ex refuses to plead guilty, saying it's against his religion. Schaefer pleaded guilty, but later asked to withdraw his guilty plea, saying he has mental health issues and denying the accusations. He also asked for house arrest. But I also don't want those men to get away with what they've done. And Micah says her husband took the kids, but police would not issue an Amber Alert until they were divorced. She was panicked and feared they were in danger, but that is why they were living in captivity for so long. Still dealing with so many side effects. There's a lot of emotional triggers mm -hmm. for them. Just going to the grocery store, they see foods that they were forced to eat while in captivity, and it oh. just brings it all back for these kids. Oh, it's just staggering that this could even happen. Liz, thank you so much.